Alright, so we're going to talk about uh, now is basically a little bit about sets. Uh, sets, as you can see, the set symbols, I'm not very good at drawing these. In fact, I may try again while you guys are watching and doing it as best I can. But the set symbol looks like this. Oh, this is going to be in red. So it kind of comes down. Looks something like that. So we're talking about sets of numbers for a little bit. Uh, the numbers inside a set, so say I give you a nice little set. So here's my set. Numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. The numbers inside the sets, these numbers right here, are actually called the elements. The elements of a set. So uh, kind of keep that in mind. Uh, next thing we're talking about is set builder notation. Set builder notation is basically just another way we can express a set of numbers. So this right here is basically uh, a finite set where it's just the numbers inside and now we're going to talk about an infinite set. So set builder notation kind of looks like this. It's the set, especially if you have an inequality, you'll say x and then a, a line kind of like this, which means such that. So x such that and you just describe the numbers in the set. A lot of times we use words, so we'll say uh, the x such that x is greater than 5. And then of course we'll close our set. So set builder notation is just another way to express that. Uh, another thing that you might be able to see is this thing called a null set. A null set. And that's basically a set with no entries. So if there is no uh, answers in your set, whoa, that's awful, uh, you'll see it like this, basically just two set uh, notations with nothing in between. Or you could see something like this to represent a null set. So let's see if we can't look at the first thing, which is what we're going to do is we're going to find the intersection. Now we basically have two sets. There are five elements in this set right here, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And then this set has four elements, 6, 8, 10 and 12. Intersection. Intersection is basically what the sets have in common. If you think about the intersection of a road, it's where the two roads actually meet. So our intersection will be here. So it's what they have in common. So kind of keep that in mind and we'll look if we can't see, uh, if we can't find the intersection of these two sets. So the intersection of these two sets are the elements they have in common. Uh, what you should be able to do is look up here and see that uh, there's an 8 here and an 8 here and then a 10 here and a 10 here. And what they're asking for is basically what they have in common. So you don't need to repeat them, you just need to say what they are. So they have an 8 and a 10 in common. So that's the intersection of two sets.